you are God's creature designed for glory you are not designed for shame returning back in Jesus name I rebuke the devil God is a God of mercy when you understand that God is a God of mercy you are a creature of intention God created you intentionally get set for a moment of empowerment with your host Benjamin Beckley glory be to God hallelujah this is your day it is your moment it is your turn for uncommon testimony and triumph in the name of Jesus welcome to moment of empowerment with Benjamin Beckley and I remain your agent of empowerment Benjamin Beckley of the Empowerment Center in Arlington Texas USA I want to appreciate you for tuning into this broadcast today because I know fully well that it's going to be a great blessing to you it's going to encourage you it's going to enlighten you it's going to empower you towards fulfilling destiny in the precious name of Jesus moment of empowerment is a revelational and prophetic broadcast that is designed towards empowering you towards taking your rightful place in destiny there is a place for you in life God created you he positioned you on the earth at such a time as this to take over to succeed to excel to prosper to make it however you cannot take your rightful place until you are empowered and that is one of the reasons why this broadcast is designed as a platform for supernatural all-round empowerment I know you have somebody right now that needs to watch this broadcast no matter where they are I know you know someone that needs encouragement you know someone that needs enlightenment you know someone that needs to be empowered no matter what the situation is you know someone that needs a solution to the situation they are passing through right now I'd like you to do me a favor get them on the phone call them send them a message get the family together tell them the station you are watching me right now and tell them to tune in because god has a word for you today and you will never miss out of it in the precious name of jesus god is about using you to be a blessing to somebody no matter where they are because this broadcast today will break the shackle of sickness will turn every op closed door open in the name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus precious name it is time to be empowered and I want you to get someone on right now for them not to miss out of what God has for them today God's Word is a supernatural instrument for enforcing change of stories in God's Word lies the solution to every earthly situation no matter what no matter how all its demands is revelation in God's Word because the Bible says in the beginning the word has been God was the word and the word was with God and nothing was made without him so God's Word served as the instrument for creating everything that was created in the beginning God said let the be light is spoke into reality the things you want to see and he saw them i'm persuaded today that as god's word come your way whatever supposed to be in your life that is not there positively god will fix them in place god's word will put them there in the name of jesus god's word is a supernatural instrument for enforcing change of stories in psalm 107 and verse 20 the bible says he sent forth his word and he healed them and delivered them from all their destructions so God's Word carries within it virtue for healing virtue for deliverance from all forms of destruction as God's Word come your way today I declare supernatural healing I command every form of destruction to be destroyed I declare deliverance your way I enforce your liberty in the name of Jesus it will bring deliverance to your children it will bring deliverance concerning your family issue that marital problem God's word is going to settle it today in the precious name of Jesus and so shall it be in Jesus name now right before I go into today's teaching I like to invite you to the empowerment center the empowerment center is a non-denominational uh, multicultural world based church of God 
we are committed to the word of God, we are committed to prophetic prayers, and we are committed to loving you, no matter who you are and how you are, that is our commitment to God to ensure that everyone that comes our way experience the God kind of love. I would like to see you in any of our services. On Sunday, we have service 10 a.m. to 12 noon on Sunday. And on Thursdays, we meet 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. every Thursday. The address is scrolling on the screen. And you can also visit our website or call the number on the screen if you want to know more. But I desire to have you come. Come and experience the power of God. Come and experience the presence of God. Come and experience the person of God. And I know your life will never remain the same again in the precious name of Jesus. Now, in case you are just tuning in to this broadcast, this is Moment of Empowerment with Benjamin Beckley. Moment of Empowerment is a revelational and prophetic broadcast that is designed towards taking you, empowering you towards taking your rightful place in destiny. Today, by the grace of God, I shall be starting a new series. I want to appreciate every one of you for your call in in the last series that we ran. I know you are blessed, and this will bless you more also. I'm going to start a new series today, and the title of this new series is called The Secrets of Overcomers. The Secret of Overcomers. If you have your Bible, please open with me to 1 Chronicles chapter 4. We're going to look into the scripture to draw revelations, and from there we look at what God is saying. 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. First Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and 10. The Bible says, And Jabesh was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabesh, saying, Because I bear him with sorrow. Mm, verse 10. And Jabesh called on the God of Israel, saying, Oh, that thou wilt bless me indeed, and enlarge my coast, and that thy hand will be with me, and thou will keep me from evil, that he may not grieve me. And God granted him that which he requested. Today, God will grant your own request and desire in the precious name of Jesus. Secrets of overcomers. Now listen to me. It takes accessing secrets to live significantly in life. It takes accessing secrets to live a significant life on the earth. The more secrets you can access, the more significant success you can command. Life is a place of secret. There are secrets to everything. Now, what secret there means, things that are not open to everybody. Things that have been concealed, that needs to be unveiled. Knowledge that needs to be connected with. That is what secret is all about. Now, if you will go far in life, you need to gain access to some secrets that makes it possible and that makes it work. I want you to understand, and for success, there is a secret to success. There is a secret to long life. There are secrets to breakthrough. Whatever you want to experience in life, there are things to know. Because until you know what you need to know, you cannot command what you need to command. In Deuteronomy chapter 29 and verse 29, Deuteronomy 29 and verse 29, the Bible says, The secret things belong to the Lord our God. So God is a God of secrets. Secret things belong to the Lord our God. But those things which are revealed to us belong unto us and our children forever, that we may do all the words of the law. Deuteronomy 29, 29. Secret things belong to the Lord. So, but if you will access it, you need access, you need to connect with him to access secrets so that you can enjoy the best of God on the earth. When you access life's secret, you end up enjoying the best of life. So that is why I want to start the series today on understanding the secrets of overcomers. Nobody overcomes by chance. Every overcomer in life, they have access to some secret. And when you have access to the secret that makes great, you cannot escape being great. When you gain access to secret that makes great, you cannot escape being great unless you are not doing anything. 
So I want you to know that there are secrets to everything in life. There is what to know to connect with where you are going to. There is what to know to know how to be a better parent. There is what you need to know to know how to live a better life. There is what you need to know to know how to have a blissful marriage. What you need to know until you know it, you can't get to where you are going to in life. I pray today that the eyes of your understanding be enlightened. Your knowledge capacity be increased in the name of Jesus. Now listen to me. Life is full of trouble. Life is full of sickness. It's full of sorrow. It's full of challenges and negative experiences. Life is full of rejection, disappointment. Maybe you are passing through some of it. Because Job told us in Job chapter 14 verse 1 that man that is born of a woman is of few days, but those few days are full of trouble. So we live in a life that is full of trouble, is full of challenges, is full of negative occurrences. However, that is not the end of life. That is not all that life is all about. There is more to life than the problem. There is more to life than the challenge. Life is not just a place of trouble, it is also a place of victory. Life is also a place where overcomers have testimony. Life is not only a place of sickness, it's also a place for divine health. Life is not only a place of challenge, it's also a place for testimony. Life is full of promotion. Life is also full of liftings and riches. However, you must understand that even though there are problems in life, there is also progress in life. And that is where you're going to. You are moving from problem to progress in the precious name of Jesus. In Psalm 33 and verse 5, Psalm 33 and verse 5, the Bible says, He loveth righteousness and judgment. The earth is full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full. Come on, I love that scripture. The earth is not just full of trouble. It's also full of the goodness of the Lord. The earth is full of the blessings of the Lord. The earth is full of the goodness, the favor, the profiting, the prosperity that God makes available. From today, I pray over your life. Now, whatever is making you to always consistently experience the negative side of life there will be a change there is going to be a shift you are moving now from the trouble into the triumph you are moving now from the frustration into the promotion in the name of jesus life is not just a place of trouble it's also a place of victory it's a place for overcoming and it is your turn to overcome in the precious name of jesus now life is full of trouble life is also a place of promotion and progress Therefore, shifting from being defeated into being lifted is what overcomers do. Overcomers are those that shift from the problem into the progress. Overcomers are those that are moved from being defeated into being lifted. That is what it means. Overcomers are those that move from stagnation into promotion. Someone is listening to me today. By the power of God, you are moving out from your place of trouble into your place of testimony. You are moving out. God is going to bring forth a change, a shift a supernatural move, a supernatural transformation from the trouble you have been having, the inconveniences, the backwardness, the retrogression. You are coming out from that sickness because you are an overcomer. Everyone that is born of God overcomes the world. Everyone that is born of God has the capacity to move, to shift from the troubles of life and begin to experience the victory of life. From this day, for every shame you have experienced, you are going to overcome your trouble. You will overcome the sickness. You will overcome the barrier in the name of Jesus who are overcomers. I'm still teaching on the secrets of overcomers, but I want to lay a foundation today so that you understand what, over, what, does, what it means to overcome. Overcomers are those that come over something. When we talk about overcomers, there are things in front of them or there are barriers, an embargo that does not want them to move, but they overcome it. They come over it. To overcome means to come over to come over, to come over anything that does not want you to cross over. That is what it means to overcome. Who are overcomers? Overcomers are those that shifted from being defeated into being lifted. Overcomers are people, men and women, that refuse to be defeated in life, but they move from being defeated into being lifted. 
who are overcomers. Overcomers are men and women who refuse to remain a victim. But rather, they pay the price to stand as victors. That when you talk about overcomers, these are people that refuse to allow themselves to be a victim. But rather, they moved. They paid the price to stand as victors in life. Who are overcomers? Overcomers are men and women that refuse to allow their present situation to be the end of their lives. When we talk about overcomers, we are talking about men and women that refuse to allow what they are passing through currently to serve as the end of their life. They, allow, they refuse to allow their present trouble, their present situation to be what will terminate their journey. That is what it means to overcome. And I know by the reason of this broadcast, God is going to release upon you the unction to overcome in the precious name of Jesus. Now, all through the pages of the scripture, we have testimonies of and press report of how people overcome situation. All through the pages of the scripture. Now, when you look at the text that we read, 1 Chronicles chapter 4, verse 9 and verse 10. There are certain things I want to share with you today to lay a foundation for what we are studying or what we are looking into on the secret of overcomers. There are certain things I want you to understand from the first Chronicles chapter 4 and verse 9 to 10 that we read. Now, number one thing I saw here I want to share with you is this. The Bible says in verse 9 of first Chronicles chapter 4 that, and Jabesh was more honorable than his brethren. And his mother called his name Jabesh, saying, because I bear him with sorrow. I saw from the scripture that parents are destiny influencers. I need you to understand that. If you are watching me right now, you are a parent, or you are about to be a parent, you are a destiny influencer. From the scripture, this boy called Jabesh was supposed to be honorable. That was the agenda of God for his life. But when he came onto the earth, by the singing of his mother, his destiny was affected negatively. His destiny was influenced negatively because of what the mother was passing through. The mother was passing through sorrow, and as a result of that, I don't know why, I don't, the Bible did not tell us what led to her sorrow, but I, I believe probably maybe at the point where she was pregnant, the, the father abandoned her. Maybe the husband left her. Maybe there was, there, was an, there was an incident or situation in the family that made her to step into sorrow while she was carrying the pregnancy of Jabesh. But at the point where she was about to deliver, when she delivered the boy, she said, that this boy is sorrowful. Not because the boy came with sorrow, but because she was passing through sorrowful situation. And I saw there that parents are destiny influencers. What parents does affect how life will treat their children. She called him sorrow, not because God wanted him to live a sorrowful life, and for some part of his life, he was living a sorrowful life. Not because God wanted him to live a sorrowful life, but because of what the parents said. Because of what his mother said. Listen to me. If you are a mother, you are a father, listening to me or watching me anywhere in the world, I want you to understand that you have a role to play in the life of your children. You are a destiny influencer. How life will treat your children is traceable to how you are living, how you live your life. Don't allow your present trouble to make you name the future of your children. Because of the present trouble that the mother was passing through, she named the future of his son. She, she, she truncated the honor that was waiting for the son until the son took responsibility. Understand with me. I want you to understand as parent, God has sent me to you. The way you live your life, the things you refuse to do, the things you are committing yourself to do, positively or negatively, will have an adverse effect on your children either positively or negatively. Even if you don't want to change for yourself, change for the future of the children that God has given to you. The way you live your life, if you are committing yourself to anything, misusing your time, misusing your destiny, misusing your life, it does not just affect you alone, it affects the destiny of the children attached to you. 
Also, I want you to know, don't allow the present trouble you are having. Maybe you are passing through divorce. Maybe you are passing through the turbulence. You, are, you, are, you have lost your job. Don't, let, don't bring that trouble or that sorrow upon your children. No, that was what the mother did. She was passing through sorrowful circumstances, and because of that, she named him Jabesh, and the destiny that's supposed to be honorable had been affected. There are people listening to me and watching me now. The Lord is asking me to tell you, maybe you have been a victim of your parents' error, your parents' mistake, the mistake your parents made, and you are the one paying the price. It has affected you. It has negatively affected the way you see life and the way you live your life, and and since then you have been having it difficult, you have been facing difficulty forgiving them. You can trace what you are passing through to what your mother did. Maybe your mother committed an error. Maybe your father did, he made a mistake when he's supposed to be there for you. He was not there for you. And because of that now, you are taking vengeance upon him. Now God is sending me to you to release. Let go, have mercy. Because the mistake of your parent, let it pass you by. Let the past pass so that you can also move on. Somebody say amen. So I saw from the scripture, we're talking about the secret of overcomers, that parents are destiny influencers. Number two thing I saw here, which I want to share with you, is that you have a choice to make if you will experience a change in life. You have a choice to make if you will experience a change in life. I want you to understand that one of the secrets of overcomers is that they made a choice to win. They made a choice to overcome. They made a choice, they make choices not to be defeated. Overcomers will have stayed there defeated, but they made a choice. They always make a choice never to accept defeat. So if you will experience change in your life, you must learn how to make a choice if you will see. How did I know? Jabesh, even though the mother had made a mistake, even though there had been a pronouncement, he refused to allow that to be the end of his life. He took responsibility. He made a choice to experience a change. The Bible says in verse 10, and he called on the God of Israel. He called, he made a choice to experience a change. He will have accepted it as a faith. He will have accepted it as the end of his life. But he said, no, there is a better life. There is a choice for me to make. If you will win in life, you need to make a choice. If you will experience progress, you need to make a choice. In life, your choices affect your chances. He could have accepted defeat, but he made a choice. Now I want to speak to somebody. Maybe you are passing through turbulence and it is not you. You are not the one that caused it. You are passing through things that you are not the one that was, that was responsible for it. You are not the one responsible for the trouble, but yet you are passing through it. But I have a news for you. You can be responsible for a change. You can take responsibility to make a choice that will make you experience a change. Your father may not be there, but that don't let that be the end of your life. Your mother may be in jail. Make a choice not to go there. Your situation may be very terrible. Make a choice to make to experience a change. He made a choice. His environment may not be the best for you. Where you stay now may not be the best. But you can make a choice to stand out. You can make a choice to be the best. You can make a choice to live the best of life. You can make a choice to go back to school. You can make a choice to experience the blessings that God has for you. He made a choice to experience a change of story. I understand in my life that until you make right choices, you will continue to experience wrong things. There is a choice for you to make. You can make a choice to live the best of life, even if nobody has ever lived it in your family. If your father is involved in drugs, you can make a choice to be exemptional. Even if your mother is prostituting, you can make a choice to live a holy life. You can make a choice. Everybody may be missing it. Everybody may be doing it wrongly, but you can make a choice to stand out. That is what it means to overcome. Overcomers are those that make choices to stand out, to come over, to cross over the barrier, to break the limit. I see somebody watching me right now. In the name of Jesus, you are breaking the barrier. You are breaking out of generational curses. You are breaking out of household limitation in the name of Jesus. But finally, before I close today, the third thing I saw here from the scripture is that it is possible to overcome. He made a choice and it showed us that even though he was born as sorrow, it is possible to overcome. He overcame by prayer. He overcame by calling on the God of Israel. There is a connection that is necessary to overcome. What did I saw? 
Uh, Jabesh connected with the God of heaven that can change his story. So it is possible to overcome. No matter what you are passing through, it is possible to overcome. You can overcome addiction. You can overcome oppression. You can overcome the affliction. You can overcome that sickness. You can overcome that current marital trouble you have been having. There is no situation in life, either you are the one that caused it or it was cursed from your behalf that you cannot overcome. You only need to know what to do. You need to assess the secret. And one of these I saw today is that Jabesh went to God. There is a God in heaven that delights in ensuring that you overcome. You are not created to be defeated. The starting point for overcoming in life is to believe and to agree that you can overcome. Until you see yourself as someone that can overcome, you cannot overcome. Until you mentally see yourself that I can overcome this thing, you may not be able to overcome it. I want you to understand that you cannot be mentally defeated and expect to be physically victorious. You cannot be mentally defeated and expect to be physically victorious if you will overcome. You must accept that you can overcome. You can overcome that situation. You can overcome it. Stop giving excuses that you can't. You can. You can stop it. You can overcome it. And this is the time for you to overcome in the precious name of Jesus. Now I want to pray with some people. I'm going to continue from there in my next broadcast. You are saying, Pastor, I've been having this issue. I've been facing this addiction. I want to overcome it, but I'm having trouble. Now I'm going to ask you to call in right now. The number is going to show on the screen. I'm going to ask you to call in for prayer. I want to pray with you. Maybe you are that person that you have any difficulty forgiving your parents because of what they have made you to pass through or you are facing serious addiction you want to overcome something but you have been having trouble you have tried everything you can you cannot stop it God has sent me to you today because there is power in the name of Jesus to help you to overcome and I'm going to be praying for you call in right now call the number on the screen because the prayer unction is coming your direction you are going to overcome that addiction you are going to overcome that sexual trouble in the name of Jesus. I pray for everyone today by the power of God. May you overcome in life. Nothing will be defeating you any longer. In the name of Jesus, so shall it be. Jesus' precious name we pray. I'm going to continue in this teaching next, in my next broadcast. But before then, I want to invite you to the Empowerment Center. I want you to come. Let's fellowship together. Let's celebrate Jesus together. Let's come and enjoy the flow. It, it, the Empowerment Center is a platform for overcoming. Everyone overcomes. The address is on the screen. I look forward to having you in any of our services on Sundays or Thursday. And also, you can listen to more life-transforming messages on our 24 hours internet radio that is broadcasting prayer all around the clock. The detail is on the screen. You can pick right down the website or call that number. You can also download our free application. Uh, you will be blessed listening to the brain radio, listening to life-transforming messages. God bless you. Till I come your way again next week, stay empowered and keep empowering others. God bless you. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Watch us every week at the same time for your moment of empowerment. Visit us online at wordrevival.org or call us at 972-639-1762 or stop by and see us at 838 Secretary Drive, Arlington, Texas.